Callie here. Welcome to another video. Today, I took an idea from my Discord where I have build ideas and video ideas. And this idea was actually pretty good. I hadn't thought about it before. It says, a video combining the value of all your houses plus your money to see how much money you are worth in Locksburg. That is so cool because at the moment I have 30 plots with things on it. So I'm going to combine the value of all of my plots plus the money that I have currently, which is already $11 million, and then see how much I am worth in Blocksburg. So I'm going to start from the first build that I have to the most recent build that I have. One of the builds I won't show you guys because it's something that I'm working on with Diana. So that's going to be a surprise and I don't want to show you guys just yet, but I will take the value of it currently. So the first build that I have out is my Bora Bora build. This was the first speed build that I ever made and the first build that I did without, well, it wasn't the first build I did without looking at a tutorial because my mansion was, but this one was a build that I was really proud of because I just looked at a picture from the internet and then I made this build. This plot is worth, let me see, let me get out of that, let me go here, where is it? Oh, house. This is worth $1,366,501. So now let me put that into my calculator so I can keep track of all of my plots. That is the value of my Bora Bora plot. This plot is a plot that I did using a speed build. I used Kyle's speed build and it was so that I could practice my building because at that point I was still new to Blacksburg and I really didn't know how to build. So I was like, let me just use a speed build and I wanted a mall and a parking garage and all of that and I just wanted to practice my building mainly. All right, so far with these two plots, I'm at $2,740,502. Now this plot is a plot that I am so, so proud of the most out of all the builds that I've done because this was my first build that I did without using any help, without using any speed build. I looked at this Sims house and I was like, whoa, I wanna build this in Bloxbury. And somehow I did it and it worked out. Of course, my designing skills are not that great. Well, they were not that great back then. They're just a little better now. That's why a lot of the rooms don't match. And I just wanted to have a house that I could say like, I did that myself. This plot is worth $3,114,243. Now it's worth that much because let's run on over here because of all of my vehicles. It used to be worth $2 million, I believe. I did a video on it and I had 18 Jeeps, but when the Nubis Superiors came out, I was like, oh, I have to get these vehicles. So I have nine Nubis Superior, I think that's what it's called, and I have nine Jeeps. This is one of my first speed builds after my Bora Bora build. And this one, I think it's pretty cheap. It's about 64,000, which is a drastic difference from <laughs> my million dollar plots. Now I'm going to speed through these plots. I'll show you guys and show you the value. And I will only speak if it's like something that I really, really want to show off and like, hey, this has a story to it. So let's speed things up.
this build is a build that is actually not on my channel because I started it, oh my gosh, like three months ago. It's supposed to be like an American style Japanese restaurant and this is the parking space, obviously, and the eating area. And then we have the inside. Oh, it's not a regular door. The inside here. And I just could not figure out how to decorate this at all. Like, of course, the tables here, I had the fire there because you know sometimes in some restaurants there are, there are like stoves on top here where you eat and then they can cook in front of you some more tables of course and this is like a little private type area and then the kitchen of course because i wanted it to be a really really open concept but i just did not know like what colors would go together and it was so difficult for me so i never finished it like this is the only build that i have that i just did not finish and let me see how much it is it is $149,397. So now you guys see one of my only unfinished builds. <laughs> This is a build that Diana is working on at the moment, so I'm not going to show it or walk around. You're just going to see a little window and some stuff in the back. I'm just going to show the amount of money so far. So far it's worth $1.2 million, so I'm going to add that. And when she finishes it, I guess I'll just add up and see how much it is worth after. Now, this plot is a plot that I was working on, I think, last month. I haven't really done much more to it. I worked on the bottom floor, 
but there are two more floors that I need to work on and this is the Broke Tiffany and Broke Brittany house except I turned it into a mansion on my own plot of course and I'm gonna make a video touring it when I finish it but this is what it looks like so far just gonna show the outside because I don't want to show the inside of it and this is how much it's worth at the moment if you don't know broke Tiffany and broke Brittany are Phoebe and Amber who play two broke sisters and there's a series you can you guys most likely know about it I am oh wait there's stuff on this plot but forget that plot that's not a build anyway I am finished showing off all of my plots I have 31 plots this is my 31st plot but it's not a build so I'm not gonna count it I just did this so that I could change my character when I was doing the giving away 100k and the total of all of my plots came up to nine million seven hundred twenty six thousand seven hundred forty eight dollars and that is just with all 30 plots combined so now i'm going to add my eleven million four hundred sixteen thousand five hundred twenty nine dollars and see what i come up with my total net worth on Bloxburg is $21,143,277. That is how much money I am worth on Bloxburg, which is super crazy because I don't delete my plots. The only plot I deleted was the first ever house I made, which I learned from a speed build, so I don't really count that one. So I have not deleted any of my plots since I first started YouTube. I want to be able to go back like I was able to go back to my mall and go back to so many different plots and say hey this is you know I haven't seen this in a while so I love doing that that's why I don't delete any of my plots anyway let me know which plot is your favorite and let me know if you delete any of your plots and how many plots you guys have because apparently 30 is a lot I didn't realize I thought Everyone just bought new plots when they wanted to build new houses or new builds. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, like and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye!